In this process, we're going to explore glycolysis. As you know, glycolysis begins with the molecule glucose, which is loaded with energy. When glucose enters the biochemical reactions of glycolysis, it splits into two molecules of PGAL, which is that simple plant sugar made in the Calvin cycle. This initial split doesn't happen by itself. Not only does it need lots of enzymes, but it needs a molecule of ATP going in here and another molecule of ATP going in here. After more biochemical reactions, the PGAL is converted into a molecule called pyruvate. So that would happen twice because we have two molecules of PGAL. Pyruvate. This molecule has lots of energy in it and will be used later, as you'll see. As the PGAL is turned into pyruvate, it releases a molecule of ATP here, another one here, and the same thing happens over on this side. So in all, four molecules of ATP are released. ATP is a very important energy-carrying molecule, and so we are going to symbolize that with a money sign. The chemical reactions also produce another energy-carrying molecule called NADH. It's very similar to the NADPH that we discussed in the photosynthesis process. And this is also energy storage, so we'll add the money sign. Since two ATP were used to go in get the thing started in the beginning, we have a net ATP production, net ATP production of 2 ATP. Okay, that's glycolysis in a nutshell, and now we're going to fo follow the money trail to the Krebs cycle. Keep your eye on pyruvate.